All right, so we're going to do uh, as fast as we can a uh, Photoshop tutorial on building a uh, Romare Bearden style uh, landscape. So I don't know why my brush is out like this, but I'm going to take it off. Oh, my brush is on. And um, first thing I'm going to do is just with my rectangular marquee, um, I'm going to establish you know, some sky area, pick a sky color for my foreground. And I'll just take my paint bucket and dump that in. Select the bottom or the rest of it. Find a land area. I'm making myself a uh, a landscape. So again, with the paint bucket, boom! I've got now horizon, top, bottom, the sky. Uh, now Bearden was a collage artist. So if we take um, you know just quick Google image search for a tree, um, you're going to want to look for trees that like this. Uh, the easiest way have no background already or have a simple um, like a white background. Hey, if it's like this, it doesn't matter. Um, because we can mix and match, you know, realistic trees um, with some graphic style trees like this one. If your tree looks really, really small, it could either be really far away or the advantage we have in doing a digital collage is we can use Control T or Edit and Transform. Pre -transform control T. Grab from the corner, hold and shift always. Hit enter to finish. You get a decent sized tree for off in the distance. And for this particular one, I'm going to use my magic wand because that selects based on color to select the white on the outside. If I hold shift, I can grab that little bit of white on the inside. I'll just hit delete on my keyboard. Now I've got a tree in my landscape. I could have zoomed in and gotten that other little piece of white, but we're going fast. So I'm going to go back and I'll maybe grab another tree, one that's more realistic. Ooh, look at this guy. It's nice and big. Using an image like this, though, is going to require that you, oops, not Illustrator, uh, place your tree in the foreground, right? Because you can't do anything with this edge um, except in it all the way up in the corner. Um, and unfortunately, the bottom is also cut off on this bad boy. So we're going to cover, you know, like the whole screen with this tree, get it all the way from the top and bottom. Um, and then yeah, I'm going to use, um, much like a, a scissor might, my polygonal lasso tool, take this tree and cut it out from its background this way by just selecting it. I'm going to do this kind of quickly, clicking my way around. Polygonal lasso selects based upon straight lines. Ah, I lost it. Click too fast. So I'll just keep going on. Had I messed it up, I'll show you how to fix it because, again, we can use Shift and Alt to, you know, sort of fix our selection. And that's easy to do if you mess up, sort of. All right, so I'm selecting around the stuff that I want to get rid of. Let's see... You know, if I if I accidentally come out here and, and just to make it obvious like that, I have a part of my selection that's bad. Right. So in order to add to this selection, because I've selected the part I want to delete, I'm going to hold shift down. Notice that my lasso tool now has a plus sign next to it. I just want to go around that whole area, closes back up and I can hit delete. Look at that. All that stuff is right there. Um, I might even. Control D to deselect, Control T to transform. I'm going to make this tree even bigger. It would be even way more in the foreground, like that. So I can see my trees behind it. All right, but I've established this tree is little and far away. This tree is big and up close. I may go in with this guy and, and try to magic wand. Um, notice my tolerance of my magic wand is 35. And... Um, I believe this is the button for contiguous. It used to be just called contiguous. Let's try this. Yeah. So what contiguous means, if you think like the contiguous United States are the ones that touch each other, you know, not including Alaska and Hawaii. If this is connected, it only selects 35 tolerance pixels of the same color in an area that's touching each other. If it's not selected, it'll get that color everywhere it exists. Uh, Control D to deselect. I can see through my background, all that kind of stuff. Now all I need is some characters, some people and places. I can find them through Google searches, uh, just like Bearden would if he was looking through magazine to find pictures of people.